What's up, Covalence friends? Today, we have a very straightforward video on organizing and utilizing your constants in TypeScript. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. All right, so we're starting off with an Express template repo, and it's actually an Express ESM template. And the link to it's actually in the description below if you guys want to use it. Um, but we're using ESM just for simplicity's sake and just to kind of make this demonstration a little bit easier. Uh, but you know, if you don't want to use ESM, you could use something like a bundler, uh, like Browserify, Webpack, something along those lines to be able to import a constants file on both your front end and your back end, right? And so realistically, what we want to do, because it's ESM, we need to have access to this file uh, from the front end. And so I'm going to put it in the public folder. So I'm going to actually make a, another folder called references. And I'm going to create a file called references as well. And inside this references.tsl, and this is TypeScript as well. So if you guys don't like TypeScript, I recommend that you start liking it because it's much better than JavaScript in my opinion. Uh, maybe unpopular opinion, but I love it. Um, anyway, so references.ts file here. And you might have, you know, you might start exporting some kind of cons. We'll say API equals, you know, HTTPS my API dot my API or my pay. Uh, we won't make it a real URL. Uh, and then you might have something like an enum. We'll just say, you know, it might be something like payment methods, right? And we might have card, bank, PayPal, and Venmo. Why not? Venom. All right, Venmo, right? All right, so we have our API string. And then you might have like a ton of other options, obviously, right? So. This is just a quick example, two, two quick examples of what you might have in here. You could have hundreds of others. You obviously don't want anything like secret keys, hashes, anything like that in here, right? Because um, if you import them, obviously if you put them in your public folder, they'll be accessible. But even if you did have a bundler and you imported into your front end at all, it's gonna import that entire file. So all those values are gonna be accessible or seen on the front end. So just make sure that you don't keep anything that needs to be kept secret in here. Make sure those are in environment variables or um, or just in a file that you keep on your server and make sure you don't check it into a public repo, right? So uh, whatever you wanna do, obviously environment variables are probably the best, um, but that's for another video. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and import this and actually use them, right? So we can open up our app.ts here. And because we're actually gonna be using and importing something, um, we gotta make sure that our script tag is type module, right? And so that's just in our, our in our in actual index.html that we're gonna be using. But in here, we can now actually import something from, if I can type, you know, references slash references.js, right? And we'll be able to import, um, well, let's do payment methods first, and then we're gonna actually use these payment methods. So who knows, you might get something back that has you know methods from a server somewhere, and it might be different types of methods that you're using, and you might wanna know like what type method one is, so switch you know method zero, um, case, you know, PayPal or payment methods dot bank, right? And uh, console dot log bank, right? And then um, otherwise break. And then you can obviously have kind of the similar uh, things for the other ones. So we have card, that's gonna be card, PayPal, right? Um, that'd be PayPal, and then finally Venmo, and that's Venmo, right? So, all right, so we have all these cases. Now, obviously, we know that zero is going to align with card, so it should console log card, but we're gonna go ahead and just run it just to make sure. All right, so npm run dev. And no errors, so let's pop open our browser real quick. And we're going to localhost 3000 that. And we have card, right? So obviously, no surprises. Um, we are able to log the output, uh, but we can actually look at our JavaScript file here that was created by TypeScript. And we can see that it imports the enum, you know, it treats it as an object. And we can obviously look and see the enum member there and all that, right? But basically we actually um, are treating this as an object. Now, the funny thing is, is if we were to make this a const as well, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I usually would refer to this entire file as constants. Um, and we can actually also make the enum a const. And if we now, you know, run this, it works the exact same way, a card, but 
our JavaScript file is completely different. We actually don't even have an import file or an import line anymore because we're not actually importing anything. TypeScript goes through and treats enums, constant enums, as constants, ironically. And I believe this is the only type that TypeScript actually does this with. Uh, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. There may be some other obscure type that just came out. But as far as I know, constant enums are the only ones where it actually goes through and replaces these. Now, this is only true with a typical TypeScript compilation. If you're using something like transpile module, which is part of the TypeScript API, it does not do this with constant enums. So you just need to make sure that, you know, when you do use this, you're using it in the way that it actually works and doesn't break things. Um, and so just be aware that if you're going to use constant enums, it does treat uh, it, TypeScript does treat these differently depending on how you're compiling, or you might be using a different transpiler that treats things completely differently as well, right? And so we're gonna kind of get into this a little bit because typically if I'm using a completely TypeScript based project and I'm not doing anything strange where I'm like compiling my own files using something like transpile module, I'll actually do things a little bit differently because I know that payment methods or like constant enums are always going to be uh, basically not imported, they're going to be changed at build time and not used at runtime. A lot of what I'll do is I'll treat constant enums a little bit differently and I'll group them with my typings. So in my typings file, I'll have, you know, something like an index.d.ts file and I might have something like namespace shared, right? Namespace server and namespace client. And I kind of treat, you know, my, my client types, you know, separately from my server types and those kind of things. And then I might have some shared types that are used across both, right? And so if I have a shared type, it'll most likely be something that's used on both the client and the server. Now, obviously, if we went into like routers and we went to our API routes, right, we could go into V1 and we could import from our public folder references, references.js, and we're gonna import payment methods. And we could say, you know, after API v1, we wanna console.log, you know, payment methods dot, uh, let's just say PayPal, right? And now if we actually were to go to, you know, slash API slash v1 slash users, all right, we actually get some sort of return value here. And you can see that we logged API v1 and two, right? So we're actually able to use this constant on the front end and the back end. But something that might be a little bit easier, and because we know that these constant enums are actually replaced at build time, um, typically what I would do is I would actually keep my constant enums in my index.d.ts file here, right? So you don't actually need to export this anymore. It's just a constant enum payment methods and we now obviously need to remove these references because there is no longer any the existence of that. And so we have shared payments of PayPal. And then we don't have this anymore. We obviously, you know, we could import API still and we could console.log API here just to make sure that we're still using that correctly. But we're just going to have our shared methods.bank. And when that compiles, if you look at our app.js, we obviously are still importing our strings, right? Because TypeScript does not, we need to make sure we save that file too. Um, so we have our JS file. Uh, let's go back to our app.js. So it doesn't treat strings that same way, even though it's a constant string, it does not string replace that. It still uses the variable, um, but all of our actual, um, types from our type, right? Like our payment for everything from the constant enum has been replaced still. And it's essentially treated the exact same way, right? So uh, we should be good to go as far as running this. Um, we can do the same exact thing. We can run this again. And we should see, you know, obviously, that that got called again. Let's see. Yep. So that just got recompiled. And you know, if we were to refresh again, we can see that it is actually logging to still. Um, and so that's still being run. And then if we go back to here, we can see that it's still logging card, right? And so let's go ahead and bring this back up, change this just to make sure that we're not getting some kind of old code still. And obviously now it's logging bank and it's logging API, right? So that's what we change it to. 
And yeah, so as far as constant enums go, like I said, if you are doing some crazy stuff as far as compiling goes, using something like a transpile module within the TypeScript API, don't, don't recommend doing this because what you're end up doing is exactly this case, right? If I remove the const here, right, I now just have enum payment methods, but I am referencing this, I don't get any errors. It still compiles just fine. If I look at my app.js now, it's treating shared.paymentmethods.bank as an object now. It's not actually replacing these. And so if I come in here and I run this, I get an uncaught reference error. Shared is not defined. It has no idea what this is, even though TypeScript does not mind this, right? So it actually isn't yelling at me in my app.ts, right? So it has namespace shared. It's thinking, wow, this is an enum and it has a value. And so it actually doesn't throw an error here, but my code doesn't work any longer because of what it's compiled, what it's transpiled to. Shared doesn't actually exist, right? That's in a declaration file. So be careful, but be aware and understand these things and it make your life easier by keeping your constants um, easily manageable and easy to use. All right, so I hope that was easy enough to understand. Again, it wasn't really a topic that was you know, too complex or goes into too much theory or anything like that. And so if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Otherwise, check out our courses. We have a whole course on learning TypeScript and all of the intricacies involved. Um, it's actually included in our full stack course. So definitely check that out. Follow us. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out our merch store. And we hope to see you soon. Get out of here.